Welcome everyone to NHL 23. We're basically in the last few years of this simulation here. Bedard has signed an extension to his contract for two years, so I'm assuming there's two more episodes left. One of them being this one. Nothing happening in the uh, preseason, so let's edit our lines here. We'll check him out. So on the first slide we got with was Newski, Bedard, Boa, second line Tamira, McNeely, Jamal, third line Don, Richardson, Marco, and then the final line Reese, Camden, and Wutan line in. Alright, I heard myself there, so I had to like mute that. Alright, so on defense we got Whitfield, the guy who put it in his own net during the playoffs and netted our hopes and dreams. And then Lehu. Second line is McIntyre and Shistov. And then the lost defense pairing is Ortmeier, Ortmeier and Rivero. And look at that! Most of the three of six are in their 20s and they're not in their 30s. Look, we have a 22 year old on our team now. Alright, so goalies we got Hatcher and Ma Marcus. I had to remove Marcus from starting position because like, he just kept on freaking up in the playoffs. So what I had to do is just be like, okay, freak you. I'm signing someone with a higher overall. So on Laval, we got Smolinski, Heavy Show, Volk. Second line, we got Stylus, Mario, and Brian. And then on the third line we got Mario, Matthias Hidui, Robbins, and Gallagher. And the fourth line it's Percy, Holby, and LaBelle. And on defense we got first pairing Paloxon and Byron. Second pairing is Shrimp and Sanderson. And the last pairing is Demander and Bobrovsky. So in net we got Juras and Habs legend Pavel Dotsut. That's right, Pavel Dotsut has gone younger and has joined our team. So scratch we got Oleg Kolosov, Pell Axelson, Pasi Matanen, and to Lu Omala. I think this means the reason why we have him is probably because we need to sign a goaltender. But just so he has some stats, I'm gonna just do some simming first. But yeah, alrighty. Let me just check the roster. Make sure I'm all good. Not locking in one position. Okay, so it's looking like left wingers, I might need someone. Defenders, I'm pretty decent. Might need a better left defenseman, but we'll see what happens. Just might need one. Wait, what happens if I do this? Oh, never mind this one. This guy's actually, yeah, never mind. Let's unselect this guy. And then goalies, we just have Chura on the HL team and then Hatcher Matsiano here. I guess I could have kept him, uh, Kovalchuk or whatever his name 
was. <laughs> I'm already forgetting my longtime goaltender names. Oof. But yeah, I'm doing some food delivery right now, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out, not do what I did last time, and just completely forget. Alright, I'm gonna just send the first month and then I'll actually sign a goaltender. Just so Pavel has legend Pavel Dots who can at least get one game in. Or more so Laval legend. I guess what I could have done is I could have switched the I could have just switched in the lineup that he was going first. Alright, he's played like six games. Actually, he's not that bad of a backup. But you know what? I'm gonna have to sign another goalie anyway, so. Wait, if if I f can I fight him? Never mind, he probably doesn't even exist. It's just like he got created just for that one moment. Alrighty. Let's sign this dude here. Boom. Does he sign? Yes, okay. So does that mean we gotta say goodbye to Hab's legend Pavel Dotsuit? Nope, he's still around us. He's just... The goalie got scratched. That's hilarious. Alrighty. No, I'm gonna also. Never mind. No, I'll just wait for some. A trade for a left winger. I don't really need it right now. I don't really need him. So, don't need an extra left winger, but as you can tell, we're first place. So, it's like. Not as worth it right now. Oh, there you go. Let's check this man's out. Not my third pick. The sniper, he has good defense. And senses. Okay. Sure. And actually that helps us. The defenseman as well. But that's that. <laughs> I'm not turning any other pick. Unless I see there's a good deal. Damn, 20 wins already, and we're like 27 games into the season. Nice. Are we dominating? Well, we have like 10 more points than, uh, 11 more points than the other, the other division here. The Rangers. So, it's looking good.
No Metropolitan, that's what I meant. No, I'm not trading a second runner for a def deaf defenseman. Very crazy. Let's see wh who else there. There is a uh, who? Uh, what other division? How how many points I have more than them? Come on, switch to another division that isn't in the um, uh, that isn't in the east. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm showing me Atlantic and Metropolitan. There you go. You can just do this. All right. So we're now at the. 40th game of the season. We're practically halfway through. We're more than half, halfway through actually. So centers, make sure. Okay, yeah. So centers. Bedard has a 17 goals and 45 points. McNeely six goals and 34 points. Richardson 10 goals and 26 points. Macias has seven goals and 23 points. Left wingers Boa has 19 goals and 46 points. Glenn has 11 goals and 43 points. Tamira, 7 goals and 35 points. Martin, 16 goals and 24 points. Gamble has only 3 points in 18 games played. Right wingers, we got Samal, 19 goals and 35 points. Vile, 9 goals and 22 points. Martinak, 4 goals and 21 points. Kurposkowski, Six goals and 18 points. The fans we got McIntyre, McIntyre, 22 points and plus 13. Rubero, 16 points and a plus one. Lahu, 14 points and a plus 13. Chistov, 12 points and a plus 15. Whitfield, 10 points and a plus eight. Or Meyer, eight points and a plus four. Our right defenseman are, is showing up our left. So goaltender. Hatcher has one shutout, a point nine oh seven save percentage and a two point seventy goals against average. Vasilov or Marcus has one shutout and a point nine oh four save percentage and a two point sixty four goals against average. Now for the AHL. Rabbi Show five goals, twenty five points, Robbins eleven goals, twenty three points, Belmar ten goals, twenty two points. Percy, 3 goals, 9 points. Holby, 4 goals, 7 points. Left wingers, we got Smolinski, 10 goals, 25 points. St. Louis, ten, 6 goals and 21 points. Lavelle, 10 goals, 13 points. Convoy, 4 goals, 13 points. Right wingers, Silas, 10 goals and 23 points. Valk, 11 goals, 21 points. Gallagher, 9 goals, 17 points, and Axel, 2 points in 6 games played. Yeah, he's our elite player there. So Byron has 26 points and plus 18. Pelikson, 25 points and plus 13. Sanderson, 12 points and a minus 2. Chistov, 12 points and a 0. Springus, 9 points and minus 3. Shrub 6 points and minus 10. Bobrovsky 1 point and minus 2. Timinder 1 point and minus 5. And Luo, Luo Mala plus 1. Goalies Juraz has 3 shutouts, 0.920 save percentage and a, point, a 2.21 goals against average. Mears has two shutout, 0.897 save percentage, and a 2.60 goals against average. Then Habs legend, that suit, 0.85 save percentage, and a 2.69 goals against average. Uh, 
Alrighty. Da, 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 da. So, what we're looking at here. Uh, how are they doing shit? Face off wise. Okay, all above 50%. That's good. Points? No life mirrors. They're good. Alright, okay, maybe a, another right winger would be nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go look for a right winger. The time to sim to the deadline. No, don't need a defenseman or a left winger. Damn, they be losing to not good months for them. What going on here sure all right buyers Right when you're bum right there. Top four prospect, that's what you want. I'm not trading Padarn. There we can do a switcheroo. Oh, I actually have a decent amount of picks this year. Alright, you want something else? Uh. How about this? No. Okay, and then I'll throw in. This dude here, no. Nah. Care about this dude. Okay, you want more than that. I'll throw out my seventh rounder for a couple of years from now. Never mind, no. Okay, and then I'll throw in that extra player there. Okay. So what about this then? And then that player. How about this? No. Okay, what about fifth router? There you go. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh, I'm willing to do another trade. This guy's not available, my dude. Tr 
trade trading block here. I want a first rounder. What are you talking about, my dude? Are off the market, he's off the market. Good, yes. I don't know why you're playing him there, but. Never mind, he's still blown away, click him. Okay. Top goalie prospect. I'm assuming you want this guy here. I'll say, what if I cough him up? No. Oh, we're getting a trade offer. Hmm. Sure. Alright, then that's it. Okay, now to do some roster moves and make sure the players that we, we traded are on the team. So, Monsieur Right Winger, get over here. And then... Actually, that's not that bad. Okay, and then... The Fez. That's not that bad either. Right. Four. Three, okay. No, we be Gucci, no. We don't have a set, never mind, never mind, I'll, I'll bring this guy up. Alright, so in that case, out of the left winger and the right winger, who's lowest? Okay, life winger, trade, there you go. There you go, you have your three goalies there. So let's keep it going then. And we'll send to the Ottawa game. And then I'll play the Ottawa game. And then we'll begin. Uh no, no. If he be overall over eighty, then maybe. But no. Ooh, are we gonna reach fifty wins this season? Come on, come on. You can do it. Two more wins. One more win. Hey. 81 season, let's go. Uh, not 81, 52 win season. Okay, I'm gonna play this game now. So, I'm gonna stop the music. We're gonna play now. So I can get some practice in before the playoffs. Allons-y. Oh, we are now officially 
Oh, there you go. Oh, darn. Oh, too good opportunity there, and nope, none scored. Find the puck, and he's in position again. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. And momentum on their side as they win the trophy. Oof. The Rest in peace, my man got destroyed. Barely, actually. He just got tossed to the side. Great defensive stick work on the play. That was a risky play. Oh, but our fumbles the fuck. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice and tries to make a diagonal pass to Wazanuski. The Canadians play the puck from the back of the net. Ooh, misses. By the goaltender, how did he hang on to that? Great reach with the puck. Oh, why did I bring that over the line there? Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Hellenius has won it here at center. Da Pepe? Is that his name? Da Pepe? Montreal's got the puck. And... The Senators have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Man, Reeves Knight, what are you doing here? Through center. Thought you retired. Yeah, Da Pepe now. is his name. Slides it on over to Hellenius. Slides it back to the blue line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. At center ice oh, now. He come on. All alone. Let's go, boy. Nice. Yeah, Connor Bedard, another 20 plus point season. Bro, why did I do that? I thought that was in my net, but no, it was above the net. I was like freaky. I was scared there for my my life. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Bruh, get the fucking puck. Something happened in the offensive zone. Can't find his man. And that's a smart heads up play by McIntyre. Bruh, fucking power it up. Don't just let go. I don't know why you pass it all the way back there, but I guess it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not playing my first two lines here. Are you crazy? I'm not getting them injured. They're always oh, gonna go sicko mode on my players and freaking just annihilate one of them. Because for whatever reason, it's no longer Leafs versus Habs, the rivalry here. It's it's Habs versus Senators. Like, the Senators has been more of a pain in my ass than the, the Leafs have been. The Canadians have it behind the net. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. They've eliminated me in the playoffs. They've injured my players. Viveros has the puck and he'll wait for the face off. Like, that's a pretty heady play. There's been a little bit of scramble around. I've settled my differences with the Leafs. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Much smaller differences. And that's blocked away. Winds up, lets Ooh. it go. Denies him on the slapper. Why is Richardson on like the fourth? Oh, never mind. They played the first line in the last that, second the first there. Period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. 
Alrighty, let's do this. Let's go. Ray, while we have it, give me a sense of what you made in that first period. The Senators probably feel a little fortunate to be Ooh, Rich in the I don't know why Richardson is so low, but. From one point man to another. Really, the lead player by guess so is Bedard and and my other center, McNeely. It's just gonna pass it. Boom, boom, boom. Such hard work in the defensive zone when you're rolling around on a cycle trying to stop the other team. So this stoppage comes really at a nice time for them. They can get a breath here. Get I basically have a one-two-three punch. Not just a one-two punch. A one-two-three. Takes the feed from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Fails to find the open man. The Canadians will play from the defensive zone. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, buckle it some more. Five, six. I don't know what comes next. Bruh, Mark Tay, whatever your fucking name is. Yeah, why didn't you get it? The Canadians have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McIntyre. Last year, get it. Bruh. Macias now along the wall. And another save. The Senators move the puck in the defensive zone. Ottawa's got it along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Come on, go, go. Won't. Nope. Here's a shot. Nice. <laughs> like I'm just not playing the first line here. Montreal's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two goal lead. They have dominated. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, hey. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. The Canadians will take it behind the net. Moves it to McIntyre. And that plays offside. Oof. We got a face off coming up. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Canadians have all the all momentum right, right come now. On. Leading by two. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. Now a quick pass to Bois. Can't get a hold Like, I'll probably pass. just play my first line within the last seconds. Oh, oh, nice. Track that puck really well. The puck gets past to the slot, and he has to make the save on a dangerous. Ooh, Blom will have that. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. They've really got him on their heels here now. Oh, oh see, see what I mean? These fucking buddies here are out for blood. These go. Ottawa players are out for blood. I put in McNeely, he fucking gets crunched. Oh, down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that. Like, chill out. Oh, just chill out. Well, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get away. I'm not playing my fucking first line. Like, I'm a fool if I play my first line here. I never was in there. Well, yeah, I was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. Why is this commentary all about always all saying, Oh, I hate it when the fucking ball is empty? Like, okay. Ottawa's at the line. Puck scooped up by Richardson. Here's a chance. Alrighty. And that Good enough. To an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean One, sheet of ice. Two. Get more popcorn, and we're coming back. Okay, we're back Let's here go. with some more action. Let's do this. Now the clock is 
Stop the pin. Fuck off. You know you love to hear Ray Ferraro's takes, and he is between ice level with his assessment of the first two periods. Ottawa's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're gonna get something going. Nice. <laughs> that guy tried to get save and then he just messed it up. The Canadians have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. 30 points for Boa. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive. Oof, I almost got that backhand wrap around. Oh, okay. How long is he going to be? Uh, uh, I think. But apparently not. Hey, there's Tyrell. He used to be on my team. Bruh. Freak off, Drake. There you go. We got the chain there. There you go. That's for bringing down McNeely. This guy's fucking panning. Oh my god. I might actually lose a fucking fight in here. Oh, and I did. Okay. That was a close one. They were looking for a spark in this building, and this might provide it. They are pumped in here. There you go. Putting back fourth line in the third defense pairing. And we're ready to get back to what we actually came here in the first place for hockey. Canadians win it. Quick feed to Martin. Montreal's got the puck. There you go. End. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Ooh. The the he had to be quick there. I mean, that's right in the slot. Dangerous chance. Nice. Let's go. Oof, never mind. Passes it to the wrong person. Oh yeah, I've just been playing my dash. Nice, let's go to Mira. There you go, now we're gonna play the first line for like the last minutes here. That was some time. Hopefully they don't get injured. Like, look, look, they're already fucking hitting Bedard. Fuck off, Ottawa. Here in the late goings of the period, the Canadians are on the cusp 
but making this a blowout leading by four. How did Toa fill in when that fucking bounce is? Like, really? That's like pity points. Stop hitting fucking Bernard. There you go, the shutout win by my dude. <laughs> All right, stats time. Damn, the Bruins got 54 wins, 113 points. Damn, this music be sick. Alright, so Bedard, 28 goals, 66 points. McNeely, 9 goals, 64 points. Richardson, 14 goals and 46 points. Macias, 13 goals and 44 points. Faceoff percentages, all above 50, nice. Then, Boa. 28 goals and 70 points when this new ski Glenn 19 goals and 69 points Demira 16 goals and 56 points and Martin 25 goals and 35 points nice then Samal 28 goals and 53 points Ivany 18 goals and 48 points Marco, 15 goals and 33 points. Vutalainen, 13 goals and 32 points. And Lefondres, only 4 points in four game, 14 games play. Then McIntyre, 35 goals, that's 5 points I mean, and plus 15. Ribeiro, he's injured, but 31 points and plus 7. Lahu, 30 points and plus 6. Shistov, 19 points and plus 20. Whitfield, 17 points and a plus 3. Or Meyer, 11 points and a plus 4. Emerton, 1 point plus 2 and 2 games played. Our goalie, Hatcher, has 2 shutout, 0. 0.899 save percentage, and 2.90 goal in goals against average. Vasilyanov, one shutout, 0 0.909 save percentage, and 2.55 goals against average. So centers for Laval. Rabi Show, 8 goals, 50 points. Robbins, 20 goals, 41 points. Holby, 13 goals, 19 points. Percy, 5 goals, 12 points. Left winger, Smolinski, 20 goals, 46 points. LaBelle, 18 goals, 24 points. Shella set, 11 goals, 23 points. Convoy, 5 goals, 22 points. Sandy Wee, 6 goals, 21 points. And then Gamble, 6 goals, 13 points. And 16 games played, which is impressive. Volk, 40, 21 goals, 44 points. Krestovic, 17 goals, 37 points. Gallagher, 15 points, gold and 28 points, and Axelton only 3 points in 13 games played. The defense, Byron 27, 47 points plus 27, uh, Tullickson 42 points and uh, plus 29, Chistov 32 points and a minus 1, Springies 20 points and a plus 3, Sanderson 13 points and a minus 7, Shrimp 13 points and a minus 2, more 8 points and plus 12. Timander, 1 points and minus 5. Lumala, a plus 1. Goalies, Juras, 4 shutouts, 0.921. Save percentage of 2.14 goals against average. Latowski, 1 shutout, and 0.909. Save percentage of 2.63 goals against average. Mears, 
0.888 percentage and 2.87 goals against average. And that's Habs legend Paul will that soon. Seven games played and only one win. And a 0.885 save percentage and 2.69 goals against average. So actually one thing I'm gonna check and see if my boy the Salator how he's doing if it Okay well yeah then give a good off get a performance I guess a season. Let's just go like this. Oh there's my boy along. That's one goal we used to have. Like a while ago. There you go. Oh, 35. Damn, yeah, I'm so sorry. So the Salvatore probably didn't even get get picked up. What about the AHL? Oh, there you go. He's in the AHL. A 0.929 save percentage and a 1.92. Yeah. I would have put them, put put them in the AHL, but like, I would just ruin my other dude's progress. Damn, Bernard Giroux is low going down. All right, so how did the team go? The second place on in the Atlantic. Goals for game for game 3.27 goals against 2.87 power play 16.7 percent it has improved well it's like four so yeah and then fell to kill 85.3 percent which is the third place one nice. So then, okay, entire league, Montreal's fourth, nice, good season, good shit, <laughs> basically. We're against Buffalo, nice. And our HL team actually makes it this year nice too. Alrighty, we're already losing. Nice. Come on, get a shut out, get a shut out. Please come on, Montreal, defend your goaltender. Nice, a shout out for who was the goaltender here. I guess we gotta just check three stars. Hatcher. Alright, the Molly to that day. Simulate the first two periods. Alrighty, we gotta go in. Can't get eliminated in the first round. Right? <laughs> that would be bad. Welcome back to EA Sports. Yeah, push for that offense. And then we'll play first line action this time around. Oh, I thought, but I got it there. I was like, all right, time to score. Oof, that was a hurt hit. Oh! It was this new ski. Nice. Noise. 
Let's just not do what we did last time, going all the way, come back from a 7-1 win, at loss, uh, lo losing 7-1, and then, and then, um, uh, my own player freaking ends up scoring on himself. Whitfield, it's precisely. <laughs> This guy right here. Do the opposite of his job. Oh shit. Icing. Oh yeah, our defenders are. Never mind, they're on the second line. We got the second line out on time. But Buffalo's like, I'll treat it like I can't switch, just to be fair. He had to dig in there after the icing call. Players get tired, but you win the draw, you can get out of the zone. And a nice poke check in. All right, switch up, guys. What? Why? Bro, our first line is going to die. Okay, come on, Bedard. The Canadians win the draw. Feeds it over to Wisniewski. Fucking. The the there you go. Let's get the official decision. Actually, no. Yeah, we'll play our most energized lines. Let's actually score in a power play this series. Oof. Big oof. Try to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Takes it to the Levy, Demira. Let's go. Two goals in the game. Nice. So good in that position where you drag the defender in tight. All right. Let's actually have the second line out now. You make one more move. What a great play and a great finish. Now we're tied. No more losing for us. And he passes it up ahead to Bois. With possession along the wall. And that pass is redirected. Oh yeah, I don't know why I did that, but I get Nice wrap around backhand. Yeah, some all with five points. Oh, Tamir almost got that hat trick goal there. Hatcher, come on. Oh! Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Unable to reach that one. And he takes the dish. Montreal in on the offensive attack now. Here he is. Nice. Good job, Macias. He scores! Perfect. Oh. the late goings of the period. The Canadians now lead by two. Now we just chill. So we can make this go longer. The fat, I mean, not longer. This can go faster. Maybe he gets some epic plays, but... Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Canadians have it against the wall. 
And that pass doesn't go. Tries to get the puck to McIntyre. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Manages to hang on. Wisniewski stick handling in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Macias. The Sabres pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Barabal's got it Trying to get. <laughs> From point blank, denies him in close. Being stopped by the keeper. Oh, that was like a car crash. Shot redirected. Dismiss that chance. And he's the final hole. <laughs> I just bodied that guy at the end. Here we go, three apiece. Darn, I wasn't able to get to her. <laughs> it's a hat trick. Alright, simulate it up. One. Oof. Another game. Woo! My team's able, He's not able to get a get, win a game without me. And this one's underway here in the third. Ray with two periods in the books. What are you talking about? Game to this point. The Canadians are still in this game, and really, it's kind of a miracle, James. I mean, they don't have many shots on goal, not many chances. That's going to have to change. In the third period, grabs it and rips it, and that goes off, pours off a body, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Come on, <laughs> a Bernard, who are you there? Smart. You can know it's coming, but the boards are solid. That always rattles him. Sends it into the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Ivany. Montreal gain the line and into the zone. Bro, he went to go do the wrap around. He's like, yeah, no, you can have it. I'm too tired. Like, bro, what? <laughs> How realistic. Montreal's won the face off. And that's off target as it hits a body. Pushes it across to Bois. Here's a chance behind the net. There you go. Small actually had an empty net right there, but I don't know why he had to just shoot it upwards. But I guess it is what it is. And play resumes as the puck is shot. Montreal's got it in their own zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Buffalo's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Steen's taking it from his own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Scoops up the puck now. Moves it to Macias. Can't make it work. The Canadians look to start the transition game. From behind the net. And he comes up with it. Oh my god, fucking get it out, bud. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Ooh, Bednar, fucking what a thing. Alrighty, come on, we're playing our first line here. Let's get that goal. And he wants to keep it going. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. There's a solid collision. From the left side, takes it at center. And a little body contact on that play. Nice feed. How uh, messed up sh shit was that? Montreal's got it behind the net. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Here he is on the backhand. And now he moves it quickly to Lee. Nice. But hard with another goal. Scoops up the 
here. From the neutral zone now. Montreal's crossed the line and on the attack. Shot. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Now we can relax a bit. But not fully. And we give up this. This lead. The Canadians have recently taken a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Sabres win the draw here in the neutral zone. Shot. Big save in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Cutting to the front of the net. Decides to think about it. From one end of the blue line to the other. Puck grabbed by Reeves. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Sabres have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Levels them on the ice. James. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Good hit on the play. And a huge stop by the goaltender. <laughs> they just KO'd that player as well. All right, let's do this. The Sabres will go to work here in the offensive zone. Dustin Kim with the stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Top ones at that. Fucking hell. <laughs> go. Go. Bye-bye. Gonzo. I'm not letting you get any other goals, bud. You do not do empty net on me, bud. I'm gonna just wait. A great team effort, and they're moving on as a result. And he takes the feed. And the goalie leaves his trace to play the ball. <laughs> Good job, Hatchery. Now let's advance two days here. Baston! Alright, we get a revenge on Baston here. Oh shit, a sweep? Are we getting the sweep? No. Oh my god, really? Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> the conference finals here. Let's go. Oh shit, eliminating them right here? Yes, sir! One win. Oh, here are two loss. All right, two two. Okay, we're gonna have to play this one, most likely. Oh, never mind. Unless Edmonton ties things up here, we're not. We're in the clear, maybe. They're on the power play, but it didn't work out. Again, another power play for Edmonton didn't work out. Come on, two more minutes. Let me fucking play. <laughs> I'm not giving up this fucking cup. James All right, let's do this. This is what we live for. Overtime, let's go. <laughs> Overtime. In the Stanley Cup Finals, where we could get eliminated. Pass back to the point. What a steal in his own end. Look at that hit. Let's get physical. Montreal's got the puck in the court. Oh, what? How did I completely miss that one? Take it along the wall. Big time hit on the play. Let's the wrist 
fly. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh shit, I remember this is like overtime. Next he'll win, so switch. Across the line. Montreal's on the attack. The Oilers gain possession. Slick feed. Let's rip! Oh stays out! Oh shit. Zone. Damn, my top line has like the most, almost all, almost my top line has the top spots. Montreal's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, and that goes off target. I mean, he works into position to, to get this spot on the ice. It's a good scoring spot, but he misses the net. He's got to at least test the goal. Montreal's got the puck. All right, so we'll clutch Here it up. Yes! They take it in overtime. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to game seven, boyos. Simulate the game. Alrighty, we're playing this. I was gonna play it regardless, but since it is the final game, welcome back to EA but Sports. The now that we're down one, we're for sure playing it. The drop the puck on period number three. This is like they a do or die situation. Win or die. Period, nice, but hard. <laughs> they're now tied. Imagine that Bernard gets the con smith on his last on his last season. If this is his last season. He has one more year on his contract though. And that's what he wanted was one more year, so uh, two more years, so <laughs> nice! <laughs> Alrighty, well that's it. <laughs> Just keep this league and we win it. We win the cup. And it's at home even better. Oh! If there's a player there, that would have been in. My guy? My guy. Good. You're 89 overall, so I can't be for nothing. <laughs> With another goal. Hard to believe that almost felt like it came out of nowhere, James. The four straight, they start to fly through the middle of the ice. There's no defense for that. Obviously, the pucks have been mad all day. Quick pass to Leo. And now Otto goes on across to Small. Oof. <laughs> Gore goes to Salman. I'm surprised there wasn't a fight out of that. Oh, now we're going, bro. Fight me. Fight me. And we've got a fight. Chistow versus Fitzgerald. The 
Ooh, just thought it was like basically one more hit and he was gone. But he got it. You got guys running together at high speed. Eventually, somebody's gonna get All righty. Lock down the defense. Yep. Got frustrated at the same time there, and down the gloves go. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. There's a hit on the play. Bro, my dude Ivan, he was just in the in front of the net. My guy just didn't successfully save the puck. Bedard. <laughs> Take the puck. There's a fucking command and or code in this fucking game that if you dive, it goes in no matter what. Like, if you dive and you miss the puck, it goes in no matter what. The fucking glitch that I hate. Because if you dive and miss the puck, it doesn't mean that your fucking goaltender becomes shit all of a sudden. Small. Go. Montreal's got it from behind the net. They're looking to make something happen from the neutral zone now. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the <laughs> That was a. I knew that was going to be a fucking penalty. But I said, no, what? Let's just rock his world there. Imagine that becomes their future player that I signed. Nice he's injured at the beginning of the season because of me. Alrighty, tweet, tweet, tweet. It's pretty much over. We've doubled their lead, their their points, so. Gosh, I'm always going to get a goal there. There we go. We have won the cup. Son, yes. Yes. Boy with the con smith nice. That rhymed. Nice smith. Oh, and there's that the best trophy in sports, yes. I wonder who the captain. And here comes the captain to skate over and collect the Stanley Cup. Let's go. Lift it up, Boyle. Number six. Your captain. Tamira. Yep. Bedard. The price is a bit of a captain, but okay.
And then, oh shit. I meant to pass it to the goaltender. <laughs> Not this dude that betrayed us last season. Alrighty, and then next, the goaltender. Come on. I would have done some all in, in the goaltender and then some all, but it feels like no, I'm lifting the cup for you. Let's go. This is the emotional picture, the one with the cup for the first time. The polished one will be in a couple of tell which one has been the darkest. Their hair. Nice. Here, twenty three twenty four. 23, 20, uh, 43, 44, yes. Not 23, 24. It's 43, 44. Basically, now we're like 21 seasons into this. Or 22. Yep, quit it. And then... Epic. And then we'll advance they so they announce the thing. Boom. Then, okay, so let's do player stats and then we'll do awards and yeah. So, Bedard, 12 goals, 22 points. McNeely, 4 goals, 18 points. Messias, 7 points, 17, 7 goals, 17 points. Richardson, 3 goals, 14 points. How was their face off potential? Like, nice. The left wingers. Boah. Tangles, 24 points. Wisniewski, 5 goals, 20 points. Samira, 6 goals, 12 points. Marte, 4 goals, 8 points. The right winger Samala, 14 goals, 22 points. Of I Ivany, 6 goals, 19 points. Vile, 3 goals, 9 points. Karpikowski, 2 goals, 7 points. Defenseman, Lahu, 13 points, minus, plus 19. McIntyre, 12 points, plus 2. Whitfield, 8 points, and plus 18. Just of. Uh, Seven points. Rivero five points plus five. Emerson one point minus two. And then goaltender Hatcher one shout out a point nine thirteen save percentage two point fifty seven goals against average. And then Marcus one shout out a point nine sixty two save percentage and a one point eighteen goals against average. So then centers on the HL team Robbins they only got. I guess. They either got, yeah, they got eliminated in the second round. Because I was saying, oh, yeah. Because I would say 12 games played. At least 12 games played if they made it to the third round. So Robbins, 6 points and a uh, minus 2. For Holby, f uh, no, sorry, not minus two. Uh, four goals and the, and six points. Holby, three goals and five points. Hubby show one goal and five points. And Percy, three goals and three points. Left winger's got Smolinski, seven points. La La Set, three goals and five points. Fanboy, one goal and uh, two points. Malte Saint Louis, one point. And Ben, zero points. Right wingers got Silas, 4 goals, 8 points. Hulk, 
two points, three three goals, three points, Gallagher. Zero goals, two points. The fast men just off five, eight points zero and then Mars and seven points and plus six. Telexon six points and a plus five. Byron three points and a plus one. Bring us two points and a minus five. And Sanderson one point and a minus three. Goaltenders. Juras. One shout out point nine eleven save percentage and a two point ten goals against average and Latowski. One shout out point nine ten save percentage and a two point fifty two goals against average. Then awards. Obviously we won the cup. And then we got the Prince of Wales trophy, yep. Individual awards. Any individual except Conn Smoy? No. So, team stats, let's check those out. So we have 3.56 goals for ga per game. And then 2.48 goals against per game. Our power play was 21.7%. And our penalty kill was a 92.6%. Nice. That's good. So let's send to the draft, but first we're gonna see retirements. Alrighty, nice. So, Bedard hasn't retired yet. But Dean Byron has 289 points and 1,042 games played at age 34. He retires. Any goalies? No. What about Di Salvatore? Does he retire? Oh, Vlasic retired. And that's it. Yeah. Oh, Lavorsky, Nemec, we're getting basically hurt <laughs> close to the age where not lots of relevant players are retiring. So a coach retirement, our Laval coach retired and same as our Montreal coach. Hopefully it's not the one that we literally just hired. Let me try. Yeah, our NHL head coach that we just fucking hired, retired, damn. Looks like we're hiring a, a coach here. And also, yeah. Do that real quick. Yeah, we'll need a we'll need a head coach and an assistant coach. Alrighty, draft time. I know I have a lot of second and third round picks, but I believe I may have traded them. So it's looking like a center and a left and right. Here we'll get this guy here. Center. Or okay, I'll actually get one of these guys. Top nine. Okay, never mind. You're better off in the center. Okay, we'll get this guy. Probably another center or a left winger, sure. Le Cavalier. Ooh. Alright, and that's it.
let's him to the resign phase. But first, resign these people here. I was like, damn, we got so many A pluses, but I realized that's their region efficiency or whatever. higher oh they have Marsh who is our top player our right defenseman the who alright have me show yes Robbins what about you yes Alrighty, and then left winger. Boa, yes. I don't know why even. Had to look. They must have mirror. You're good for me. Sure, I'll resign you as well. I'll resign on you. Yes. Yes, 18 goals for sure. I'll give you another year. Small, yes. Ivany, yes. Yes. Latondris. Uh Your skating or puck skills are good, so yes. Volk. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna leave these guys here. For next season then the fence Emerton yes how about you more ah uh, sure just though No. Nah. Nah. Anderson. Sure. Thompson, yes. Then goalie, alrighty. Yes, I'm signing you long, long term. Oof, 12 million. Wish there was a way to fast track this. Yes. You too, even though you've blown my leads before. You've blown stuff. You're at 88 overall, so I can't say no to you. We have a dynamic duo. And that. So yes for you too. They have no more legend. Alright, I'm gonna have to select between these two guys. 
No, he's 37, so yeah, we're gonna select this dude here. Alrighty. Oh yeah, coaching staff. Uh, do I have to enable it? Yes. So, rules, and then go down here. Auto staff management, boom. No, 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 turn that shit off. Yeah, yeah, uh, turn that shit off. It's because it's the resign phase, that's why. I, I don't have any available. So I don't have that option available, that's what I meant. Okay, I'm written goodbye. Goodbye, little science. Goodbye, little Bye, Vol. Goodbye, Vess, you I know. I'm gonna try to resign you, anyways. I'm gonna resign you again. And then all expiring. Is it the defenseman? Sorry, not. Let me just do this. It's this dude here that was like. Do this first. Okay. Perfecto. Okay, now sim to free agency. First, I'm gonna hire a coach. Since we won the cop this year, I think we'll be fine. Our staff chemistry is at 77%, so like. Oh shit, I don't have enough of a budget for you. Same for you. Oof. That might just have to do with a interim. Can I just turn him into interim? No. Alright, so for you, I'm gonna interim NHL head coach you. And then. Yeah, what are we missing here? Forwards, yes. Yeah, I need an associate coach now because of that. Boom. And then, oh, I could have just looked there. And then an AHL assistant.
and then I'll get a defense and that's all you have to get all there you go okay so let's check the contract see what we seem to be in need of so it's not centers in the system okay so in the system it looks like okay never mind we're good there make sure no be overlapped Okay, we're good there too. Okay, so it wouldn't hurt to get another right winger. And then defense right, left, right, left, yes. Okay, so the right winger and the right defenseman is what we seem to be looking for. Okay. But also, okay. And then go right wingers for that. Perfecto. Uh, right defense. Go a few days. Nice. Perfecto. Okay, we got our coaching staff. Now, what about our players? Yes, perfecto. Let me do this real quick. No, I'm not turning this guy away. And my wants are first and second rounder. Okay. And third plus, no, not goalie. And not second rounders. So keep on going. Appreciate your interest, but you deserve. Okay. That was just a bonus treat, anyways. Let's look for a left defenseman here. There you go, what about this dude? Does he want an? Come on, answer. Perfect, okay. Now I can just sim to the other season. I'm not gonna give away my center because that seems to be something I'm lacking of. Anything involving a center, it's an automatic no.
Nope, not giving away my elite defender there. Now we just send me, I don't care about these trades here. Well, if I see a second rounder, I'll consider it, but other than that, it's a no. Come on, just keep it simming. Okay, I'll have to go sign that dude. He's, he's not, he's like, frick you. I want an actual offer. Never mind, that was the dude right there. Nothing so far. All right, let's check the lineup. Nice, we got plus five on the bottom line. And Bedard's like the last center, damn. That's why you can tell he's definitely going to be retired next season. The left wingers we got. Glenn, Boa, Ivany, Tamira, Centers is Bedard, Macias, Richardson, McNeely, right wingers, Karpikowski, Zumal, Zupi, and Utalainen. Defendants, Whitfield, Lahu, McIntyre, just of Markstrom and Ribeiro and then in that we got Hatcher and Masyanov and then for those Juras and Mio and then left for them it's Martin, Conboy, St. Louis, Labelle and then Percy, Center, Percy, Holby, Belmar, Hobisho, right, this is Malinsky Krasnovich, Robbins, and Gallagher. And defense. Alexson, Sanderson, Shrimp, and then Bebrowski, Thompson, and then Moore. Okay, in terms of. Yeah. Def, it's not that bad. Not deaf, uh, scratched. And it's not that bad for this one, too. Okay. So, thank y'all for watching this stream, and hope to see you again in the next one, which is probably gonna be the finale, considering Bedard's like on the fourth line. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.